Today, Kabali Municipality and Minister of Local Government Authorities were set to finalize the distribution and allocation of low carbs to the vendors in the newly constructed Kabali Central Market. These were astonished at reaching the facility and finding vendors had already self-allocated lockups themselves without going through the right verification channels. Vendors had already locked up their self-allocated lockups with padlocks and some were seen with two padlocks, something that indicated that it had been taken up by two vendors. This was the municipality and Minister of local government authorities amid the state security to cut off these padlocks from the lockups where the owners refused to willingly open up. <laughs> Speaking to some of the vendors, they showed dissatisfaction with the government after being denied local landlordship without the government compensating them even when the 49 lease since 1986 was still valid. According to Mujas Asanasia, who has been a trader within the market, they are aggrieved because they were previously genuine landlords with occupation permits and some owned more than one lockup which they had obtained through the rightful channels. He further adds asking the government to compensate them for the remaining lease valid period to avoid inconveniences. Yeah, there are some aggrieved sides. More especially those who were owning more than one, one store or one lockup. The, the, the challenge they faced, they just allocate you one lockup. And the others will be distributed to those who doesn't have. And uh, over which everybody who was owning a lockup, they bought it by themselves. They were having occupation permits, which elapses after 49 years. 49 years since 1986, my, my piece of advice to the government, if they can compensate the remaining years and they take their property over their facility, it wouldn't have brought a problem. The assistant programs officer in charge of community development of the Ministry of Local Government, Plose to Hirire, says that they have been facing such instances of vendors self-allocating lockups during such processes, adding that only the verified owners of the lockups are the ones who have allocation slips from the authorities. Normally when you allocate, people feel that you can go and unlock a lockup which has not been allocated to you. But the bona fide owner of a lockup is a person who has an allocation slip. If you don't have an allocation slip, you can, even if you put a padlock, it can be cut and the owner takes it. When asked about the vendors who were previous landlords, Tehiru says that it's a presidential directive for the Kabali Municipal Council to take over the market as their only landlord. She further adds that the directive states that one vendor will take up one lockup or one stall, saying that the vendors who had more than one lockup have been allocated a double or triple facility. It is a presidential directive. This is a government facility. The, 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 the only landlord is Kabale Municipal Council. And the presidential directive is very clear. It's one vendor, one facility. Uh, those who were willing, because the market, the way it was constructed, there are some lockups that are double, triple, then they are singles. Those who, 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 those who had more than three, we allocated them triple lockups and they, they accepted. Then those who had more than two, we allocated them double. The Kabali Municipality Mayor Central Biamgisha says that although the process of relocation is going on well, some traders are trying to bypass the system, adding that the authorities are ready to handle them. In every situation, as you are, whatever you do, there are those who want to beat the system. And uh, those, the padlocks that have been uh, cut, there are those people who have been trying to bypass the system, trying to beat the system. Of course, we had not, for example, the allocation team had not allocated the produce, but people had put padlocks. And that one uh, sets a bad precedence if you don't do what you have done. Because you have to first go through the allocation process, then you put a padlock. When you know exactly that this is my... Central Father adds that 15% of the revenue that will be collected from this market will be for general maintenance of the market, 50% for the municipality divisions, and the other percentage for the central government. Of course, one, well, 15% of the revenue that we collect is going to go to general cleaning of the market, maintenance of the market. This is going to security and, uh, you know, maintaining the market. Then the rest shall be shared accordingly as per the local government act. 50% to the divisions, 50% to the center. Of course, once we get it as local revenue, it's going to road works, it's going to the health education.
all the departments. The new Kabale Central Market has a capacity of 1,022 vendors, and although it has started functioning, President Museveni is expected to officially commission it in March. Nabatinga Machi, Fortuguese Television.